everyone and welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and today we are going to decode all the terminology around SSD technology and how you can choose the optimal upgrade for your system so that when you say, I'd like a 2TB M.2 PCIe Gen 3 NVMe SSD, you know exactly what you're asking for. If you find the information in today's video useful, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. When shopping for SSDs, the first thing you'll want to know is which form factor fits in your system. SSDs come in many shapes and sizes. For example, 2.5 inch is the most common type of SSD. It has a similar shape to a traditional HDD hard drive and connects over SATA cables so it offers a very familiar experience to what many are already used to. You could also choose an SSD that's an add-in card or AIC, operating over the PCIe bus rather than SATA. This results in a much faster experience, but the PCIe slots on your motherboard are often needed for other things like graphics cards, Wi-Fi cards, and RAID cards, so choose wisely. You have probably also heard the term M.2 thrown about when talking SSDs. M.2 has become the standard type of storage for slim laptops and convertibles because the form factor is so slim and tiny. It's also super easy to install right on the motherboard in most cases. Finally, there's U.2, which looks like a 2.5 inch drive, but is a bit thicker. It uses a different connector and sends data through PCIe interface, again making it faster just like the add-in card. U.2 SSD tech is a beast and typically reserved for high-end workstations and servers. Once you've figured out what form factor you'd like for your SSD, then it's time to talk interface, aka how the storage communicates with your PC. There are two main types, SATA versus PCIe and VME. The SATA interface is more affordable, more commonly found, and offers good performance for common applications. PCIe is the standard interface for NVMe, which is 3 to 10 times faster than SATA SSD. Most high-end M.2 SSDs launched in the last few years support NVMe. NVMe is so much faster because it provides much more bandwidth than SATA models, which improves performance in heavier productivity applications. If daily tasks consist of heavier work, like say video editing, large file transfers, etc., then NVMe SSD would be a good choice. Okay, so we've got form factor and interface. Next, let's talk capacity. How much storage do you need? Most consumer SSD drives range from 120 gigabytes to two terabytes. And while SSD storage has come way down in price over the last five to 10 years, it can still be a hefty investment. So figure out your budget and needs ahead of time. If you're looking to put your operating system and maybe a few apps on the SSD, but plan to keep your other data on a different drive, then 120 gigabyte to 240 gigabyte may be enough for you. Keep in mind, drives at this capacity might be a bit slower than their higher capacity counterparts. For a nice mid-range approach, you may consider 480 gigabytes to one terabyte, enough to house your operating system, some PC games, and a large media library. This is a great choice between price, performance, and capacity for most users. Finally, for the power users out there, drives that are two terabytes and above are expensive, but allow you to store just about everything you want on your super speedy high-end SSD drive. Now, if you're looking specifically for an NVMe SSD for a laptop or convertible tablet, the SSD design can have a big impact on if it works in your system. Many SSDs are built with NAND chips on both sides, and there are quite a few ultra-thin systems that don't support these types of drives. If that's the case for your system, you'll need to find a single-sided design. Also, when considering an SSD upgrade for ultra-thin systems, efficiency will be super important, both for heat and battery life. Often, higher-speed SSDs use more energy and can run hotter than their more efficient counterparts. So, choosing something that won't keep your laptop running at the temperature of the sun or draining battery faster than it charges will be important here. Keep in mind that any SSD upgrade will be an improvement over a traditional hard drive. They're faster, smaller, run cooler, and more able to withstand movement and accidental droppage. Whatever you decide, you should notice an instant step up in speed right away. If you have more questions not answered in this video, please let us know in the comments and the team at Kingston will do our best to periodically jump in and answer them. 
Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.